Okay guys, so real quick, uh, the first five minutes of this video are on a GoPro, and the audio is terrible because the chest mount always makes a scratching noise. So, if you want to watch it, you can, but after five minutes, that's when I'll show a uh, video on my phone of, you know, picking a lot. So, up to you. Hey everybody, welcome back. So, it's officially the start to the Merrill hunting season. Um, and guess what? There's Merrells. Starting to come up. There's one there. There's another one right there. They're very small, so this is just kind of an update uh, to the beginning of this video. So they just started coming up. That's what I expected. I thought they'd be real small, but I'm gonna walk real gentle here. This is an area we already know we found them at last year. So this year I'm gonna really go for it and hunt a ton of places. There's a big one over there. These are about a day and a half old. So pretty much today we're just gonna get a count. And then in a couple days, oh there's one there. There's one right there. The hillside's gonna be covered. See to be real gentle. There's one there, Fred. Try our best to walk around. So we're going to get a count, and uh, we'll see what happens. Okay guys, so as you can see there are some bigger ones coming up. These are going to stay a couple more days. It does suck not picking them, you know, we could have some. But if you just leave them a little bit more until they get more of a light color, pick them on their full size. So we're just going to walk real slow through here. Now what's nice is these are big enough that they are all, they're all pops through the leaves, so we can walk through here. But I mean, literally right here. One, two, three. Uh, just keep gently walking through here. They're all through here. There's a big one over there. Like I said, they probably won't be picking today unless we find a different spot. Because, was that you sending that to me? picture actually no my phone's on but it's somewhere but all right guys so we're gonna keep going those are bigger but we're gonna hold off a couple more days because they can get a lot bigger so we're gonna keep checking but yeah awesome start second part to this mushroom video it's a day later it's freezing outside and it's getting colder so come to see the bigger ones see if they're up more because, like I said, it's going to get to like 30 tonight. So those ones are still coming up. They're bigger than yesterday, though. There's one right here on the trip. Watch out, my friend. But the bigger ones we were seeing were on the side. Yep, it's bigger today. Was it? There was two there, wasn't there? bigger ones are over this way. I don't know. It might be worth risking it another day. There's another one up over there. Yep. These are the ones we're looking at. You know, the smaller ones are real low to the ground. And they're still coming up. But these ones here. Alright. Decent size now. sucks though because it would be nice to leave these here a little longer there's one there around this side of the tree there's one there right there there's some over here one there one there one there it would be nice to leave them another day. Well, I'm a few days if if it wasn't so cold out. There's another one over to my left. No, there's one over here. That one's big. That one's nice. 
starting to turn already. Start to turn lighter. Um, I know this camera's pretty scratchy. Where were the other ones that were here, Fred? It was like here and over. All right, well, we're gonna figure out what's going on and then be back to you guys. Okay, guys, so the rest of this video is gonna be filmed on my phone, but they need picked now because uh, it's gonna get very cold tonight. You see some already shriveled. So what I'm gonna do is, these already spread a lot of spores. I'm gonna pull them off like that. I'm trying to get used to filming with this phone. See how they're just shriveled? I'm gonna take the top of them and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, grind them up, throw them down in the weeds. But see, there's already one in here I picked. Man, it's cold. Let it grow a little bigger. Uh, and there's a cluster of them. Here's another one right here. Let's pick that one. Just like that. It's a nice morel. Put that in the bag. Now there's some more around here. The two, the big ones that we took home, ate them last night. So these ones just popped up. Really, really nice one. Look at that. Really nice. Wow. And there's my hand next to it. I'm going to go ahead and pull that off. Just like that. It's a nice one. And they're not in a fancy bag, I know. I couldn't find my mushroom bag. I don't know where I said it. There's another one. And uh, these are all black morels. So, you seeing any more that popped up, Fred? Huh? Dang. Um. All right. Well, I'm gonna keep searching for big ones in this area because those ones were under the leaves, didn't even see them. So I'm gonna really look through here, see if there's anything we missed. Okay guys, so there are smaller ones through here I'm gonna leave, but I am gonna pick this one now because it will get completely destroyed tonight. Put that in the bag. Like I said, I'm getting used to holding this phone for the camera. Where's the other one? There's another morel right there. I'm gonna leave that one. It's worth chance in that. Where's that one from? That's the one that got trampled. Dang it. Trampled one. Go ahead and take it. I'm gonna be looking for more spots too, guys. It's just this one we found last year and it worked again, so. Alright, there's that one. There's one there too. I'm gonna swing around the side, give me a minute. There's one there. And look at the top of it. Here, make sure you pinch off the bottom. Um, let's see that one. Yep. This one already got too cold. Sucks that they gotta do that. We're going to look. I'm sure there's some more hiding through here. They're just under the leaves. And if they are under the leaves, that's good. The frost will stay away from them for now. So, double check. So, just going to cover this one up. Go burst through it. Take over some more. There's a few small ones. I think they actually, I mean, we've had two days of straight rain. But I think they didn't get water quick enough. And then that's how they're growing. But holy mungus right there. Fred, look at this one. You guys see it? Probably not. Look at that. Right in the center. You want to film me? Let's keep it sideways. Okay. Cover the leaves. So hopefully they stay away from the frost. They're all through here. There's so many you can't see. I mean, these leaves are a big downfall. Look at this one though. 
that's a nice morale and these are black morales if you didn't guess yet um i'm gonna be finding some different spots soon for different morales oh, there's one over there but he's he's already been too dry or frozen hard to tell all right gonna do one last check through here but uh that might be the final there let's get in there. nice little bag of them and there's already been two that went home so gonna really look through here see if there's any that are kind of poking out and uh if not that should be it here's another one right there Sorry for my fingers. They might block some of the view. I see another one up the hill. Holy cow, look at that one. Half of that one's salvageable. And it's already put its put its spores out, so I'm not worried about it. We're gonna take it. See that half's kind of shriveled. Other half I can use. Other than that, I'll just be some little tiny bit of compost. Really look where you're going up that side, Fred. And I'm going to really look here. I noticed they like this moss. They really like moss. And they like where it's like held up. So they can just kind of sit there. Because this gets a lot of water here whenever it rains. All right. I know there's a lot of them under the leaves. There's got to be a ton, but... I mean, here's one right here. So you kind of stick it out, we're gonna cover it. Eventually, if it survives the frost, it'll poke out even more. Um, man, it's just so hard to see them. Your eyes gotta beam right on them. And then you finally see them. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed. Uh, there was no clips after that. I don't know why I didn't film like an end clip. Uh, probably because I thought I was going to find a lot more morels. But honestly, I looked a lot off camera. I mean, I went to probably five different spots multiple times during the season. And I just didn't have any luck. I looked at some pretty good spots. And uh, I'm just glad that I have this one spot that keeps producing. And I know eventually it's going to stop. You know, all places, you know, there's a certain time they're good and then it's gone. So hopefully next year I'll find some spots but I really really looked and uh, it just made me realize how you know how much more harder it is to find them because this spot I kind of just stumbled upon it towards the end of last season but uh yeah they were all good and uh there was none left to dry they all got eight fresh so but I mean I hope you guys were <laughs> lucky and finding some spots this year I know that the season is mainly over in a lot of spots. Uh, it's definitely over here. It's a little late now. Um, but I filmed this video, uh, I want to say late April, like end of April. I want to say I filmed it then. It's been a while since I filmed it uh, because it's been on my phone for a bit. But yeah, so that was my morale season. It was one spot and went there, actually we went there three more times off camera other than what you guys seen. Just kind of watching them, like you know, like they were babies, just kind of checking on them. And uh, during that time, I like I said, I was looking, and it's just hard to find them. So I hope you guys had a better season, <laughs> but I still found some. And uh, yeah, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video because I never did an outro. So hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, thanks for watching, guys. Also, before we go, I want to give a big shout out to all my patrons. So everyone you see on board is a monthly supporter. Uh, there are a few new ones on board, so I really appreciate it. And uh, if you guys want to be a Patreon, the link is always below. But I thank everyone on the board today.